Good morning everyone, I'm Kesh, I'm the lead pastor of All Saints Anglican Church right here in Nelson Bay. You are enough. Those three words are one of the most powerful phrases I can think of. But what does it mean? You are enough doesn't mean that you're done growing and changing and learning new things. It doesn't mean that you don't need anything or anyone else or that you'll never need any help. You are enough means that you were made to be you, just as you are, on purpose. It's no mistake that you are this person in this place at this time. You are one of a kind. Psalm 139 verse 16 puts it this way. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvellous. That's you. That's God talking about you. You have been fearfully and wonderfully made by God. There is only one of you in all of creation. It took a miracle of biological processes to create this single-celled embryonic being and transform it into an utterly unique, multi-celled, multi-layered, multi-dimensional version of who you are. You are enough as you are, with all your mess, beautiful or broken, showing up for everyday life. Now, why am I telling you these things today? Because I grew up feeling that I wasn't enough, constantly chasing one goal after another, exhausting myself in the process physically and mentally, constantly trying to be the best in everything, just so I could feel like I was someone. I used to beat myself up for every failure, and I constantly reminded myself that I wasn't good enough and that I never will be. I wonder if you can relate with that. I spent a lot of time comparing myself to others and the only place it left me was feeling empty and sad. Now, I don't want this to happen to you. So if you're listening to this today, feeling the exact same way that I used to feel, I'm telling you now, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. You don't need anyone's approval to validate you. You are incredible and you are here to live your journey, not someone else's idea of what that journey should be. I knew for myself that if I wanted to find peace within myself, I had to stop using the comparisons that I'd make in my head in a negative way and instead use those negative feelings to fuel me in an uplifting and positive way. Now I have a self-love, a high self-esteem and a self-acceptance. I love who I am. I'm awesome. I really am. And you are too. You are unique, one of a kind, a precious gem of this universe. So live life, be brave, believe in yourself, be kind to others, smile daily, love as much as possible, stand tall, stand proud and lift up your head. Know that you are unique and magnificent and always remember, you are enough. You are enough. Let that be the phrase you repeat, the words that echo in your mind as your head hits the pillow tonight. In Ephesians 2.10, God says this, you are my masterpiece. That's God talking about you. You're God's masterpiece. You are enough and you will always be enough. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Friends, if you found this message helpful today, share it on your Facebook page. Someone you know may need to hear this message for themselves. Have a great day, everyone. And may God bless you on your journey.